hey everyone welcome back to another video so in today's video i am going to show you how you can handle life cycle methods in swift ui project so suppose if you want to handle the condition where when your app is active when it is inactive when it is going in background and suppose you want to initialize some of the code when your app is launched at the very first time so earlier we used to do this in did finish with launch did finish with launch options but now this option is not there in the new swift ui project so how you, you can do that today we are going to cover that so let's get started so first i will open new project i am using xcode 12 here select ios and app here make sure these settings are same let's call it as lifecycle methods and we click next let me save it on the desktop let me full size this okay so here you can see the first thing that let me just increase the size okay so the first thing you can see here that there is no uh, this did finish launching with option or there is no app delegate file here no scene delegate file there is no launch screen also so if you want to know how to use launch screen I have already created that video you can check that video then how we can handle this condition like suppose if we are using core data then you basically initialize your some code in the app delegate file or if you are using user defaults then to give default values to your user defaults you do that initialization here or if you are using firebase then you set the key secret key that part sometimes you do the initialize part here in your app delegate but app delegate is not there so how to do that so for that what you can do is it's very simple actually you just need to create one initializer like this and there will be no parameters here and here you can do your initialization code so do init part but what you can do is instead of directly writing the code here you can just write methods and inside those methods you can do like for example if i'm using firebase and i have to do some operation related to firebase code so i will say to firebase finish and i will create a function for that like this and i will do that code here same like this you can create multiple methods for different features and you can do your initialization part here so this basically says that instead of did finish with launch options you can use this one so now we have understood how we can do the did finish launch with options alternative here in swift ui now we will see that how we can handle the condition when our app is active and when it is inactive or when it is in background so for that what you have to do as you can see here first you have to create i will create one environmental variable it will like this environment inside this i will create one scene face okay now i have this scene face basically the scene is going to handle all the conditions for us now how we can use this so here you can see our this window group is, is again a scene type so on this we will create one modifier which is on change you can see it is coming press enter and i don't want to use this again this perform part so i will just remove that but here for i have to tell that on what i have to check the changes so i want to check the changes on my scene so basically you know that uh, the iphone screen which we see is basically a scene so for that i have created this scene so scene face and here i will use this come closure here and i will say phase in so it will give me one one phase like active and active and to switch between my phases i will use switch here and you can say here first i will switch on my phases and now here you can say it is giving me error so if i click on fix it will directly add all the cases for me so i don't need to write all the cases here manually and here let's print some default values like first one is our background so i will say background face 
and let's do same for all other cases and that is this is inactive this is active and this is default okay now i will run the app and we will see in the console that what it is showing us so let's see at the bottom it should show us so i am basically launching this after closing the simulator so it will take little bit of time okay now you can see now currently the app is in active state so it is correctly showing us that it is in active state but if i close click on this close uh, home button then let's see what it shows you can see first it is going in inactive phase and then in the background phase now i want to launch the app again so let's see again now this time it first goes into inactive phase and then in active phase so like this you can handle the different phases of your application so this is how you can just create your environmental variable that is scene phase and this will give us all the options of different states our app will go into so that's all guys for today's video i hope you have learned something new from this and you will be it will be useful for you while developing the ios applications so thank you guys for watching this video and i hope you having a great day bye one more thing guys i have forgot to talk about that this is so when you create your application first you will see this file is open by default but if you go here this is the actual file from your app will from where the actual launch of the app will start executing the code so how you can say that this is the first file will be executed so for that you want to see this part here it is written at the rate main which means this is the first thing that will be launched so this is the start point of your app life cycle so that's why we have added this code here so yeah that's all guys i want to tell i forgot to talk about this at the start of the video so yeah thank you